Hey everyone, it's Lee here with another tips video. So in this video, I need to basically uh, back up my uh, Mozilla Thunderbird, my email client and all the relevant data. So all my emails, all of my email account settings and all of that kind of business and transfer it to another operating system. Um, I'm actually gonna be transferring it to Windows 10 which is a what I have installed on the same computer but on a separate hard drive partition. Um, so I'm basically in the progress of migrating all of my information across. Um, so I've just been reading up on how to do it and it looks pretty straightforward. Um, so let's uh, uh, go through that process and hopefully I'll share that experience with you so you can reproduce it and make it easy for yourself. Um, so all of the information is basically stored in these uh, Mozilla Thunderbird profiles um, and it tells us how to get access to them. So it says to go to the help and then if we go, so this is a Thunderbird by the way, it's already opened up. So it says go to the help toolbar and then go to troubleshooting information. Uh, then it says if down this, this application basics, we need to look at the profile folder. And if we click on that, it says show folder, uh, which takes us directly to this folder here. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up, up one. Um, so yeah, it has like this random sort of string and then dot default. And um, in most cases, the dot default is basically your profile name. So default will probably be the most likely for you. So then I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to save it where I need to save it. So you might want to save it to a um, like USB pen drive or external hard drive or something like that. I'm going to save it to this drive here. Um, and then I'll paste it there. I'm not actually going to do it in this part because I've actually already done it. So it's saved to my um, secondary hard drive or one of the other hard drives that I've got. Um, and then that should basically be it. So that's the exporting part of it. So I'm just going to close that now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video here. Um, we're going to reboot with uh, Windows 10. Uh, I also need to install Mozilla Thunderbird, but then I'll go through the actual importing process and um, share that with you. So I'm just gonna stop that now. Okay, everyone, so I've now restarted the uh, machine and we're now in Windows 10. I have uh, installed uh, Thunderbird and run through it uh, the first time. I've got this folder here, which is for our backup drive where we save the uh, Thunderbird data to. So now what I'm going to do is just open up Thunderbird. And I'm just gonna select, yeah, we just wanna configure our account later because we're gonna be importing all of our details. And um, you can see the tabs already open from earlier on, uh, just a moment ago actually. Um, what I did actually have to do is um, just right click just to enable the uh, menu bar. Um, and then that allowed us to go to help and then troubleshooting information, which is this page here. So then we want to find the sort of the, the new installations default fo folder. I know that sounds complicated, but basically it's just like the blank installation uh, from this. So we just want to show folder, which is this one here. So you can see it's in users, Lee, then app data, Roman, Thunderbird, and profiles. There's actually two in here. Um, this one I was just, just actually tinkering with. Um, initially I sort of uh, misread the instructions and I actually copied f the actual backup uh, straight into this folder kind of as it was, um, but that didn't work. You're not actually supposed to do it like that. So let me just delete that. You'll just have a, f a single folder in there that will look like that. Um, so the instructions actually tell you to um, open up the default folder and then open up your sort of uh, backup folder and then what you want to do is press uh, Control and A to select all, and then you want to, uh, you know, Control and C or copy. And then we want to go back to the sort of the new folder, and then we just want to paste all of our backup data into there, and basically overwrite anything with the same name. That's what the instructions um, tell us to do. So we're just going to continue with that. Um, haven't had any notifications regarding. Oh, here we have. It just saves that to the last little bit. So we want to replace the files in a destination. And that's just going to overwrite over the top of everything with the same name. 
uh, oh, whoops, I also forgot, we're supposed to, uh, during the actual file copy process, let's just see if we can try again. That wasn't the best way to do it. We're supposed to actually um, close Thunderbird whilst we're uh, performing this operation. So what I'm going to do is, um, now that the Thunderbird's closed, I'm actually just going to go through that whole process again. So I'm just going to copy, just to make sure. And I'm just going to paste again because, um, yeah, sorry, you're supposed to actually have, uh, that's why. Yeah, you're supposed to have Thunderbird closed whilst you're doing the actual copy and paste operation. Okay, so that's that completed. Um, let's just open up Thunderbird now and see what happened. Oh, yeah, the machine is loading up. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's a one of our um, add-ons, which is a search plugin. So we just want to allow that to work. Uh, okay, we just need to restart Thunderbird again, and that should allow that plugin to work. That was a search plugin, so it searches for your emails better than the standard search option. Hopefully we don't have to restart each time. Okay, so now I can see there's two emails that are left open. Okay, that's it. That looks like everything. There's a, a little bit different interface uh, compared to the uh, previous version. But yeah, that's basically everything. I can see everything's imported, My uh, all of my messages of which there is plenty on my folders, my inboxes, and I presume everything else as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the process, and um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, that's all for this one. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys again soon.